everyone. How are we doing this morning? Give me a quick thumbs up if you can hear me. Great to see so many of you this morning. Awesome, Zach, Chase, Denver, Tom, Bonnie. Awesome to see you, Bonnie, Zays, Nick. Got a lot of the 14 twos today. Awesome. Got two Zays. Excellent. Maddie Shacklock, Riley, Tate. Excellent. Evie, Cam. Good stuff, guys. Okay. So we'll, we'll wait a couple of seconds until we uh, until we really get cracking, but make sure you've got your uh, mini band. Okay, we'll need our mini band for our crab walk. Uh, if you guys want to make my screen bigger so that I'm as big as the screen shares, then you need to go to active speaker um, and then you can select along the bottom. If you don't want to see the screen share, you don't have to. Um, you can actually just sort of double click on my camera. Um, the one that says Jared Moss, not Frankston Blue. If you double click on that camera, that'll make me a bit bigger. And then if you need to go back to the screen share, there'll be an option up the top that'll say switch to screen share if you need to look at the program. But I'll be taking you through that anyway. So, okay. All right, great to have so many of you here this morning. Um, again, it, it, I'll just ask that you stay on mute throughout unless you have a question. If you've got a question, feel free to chuck your, uh, your microphone on and, and ask me. Um, I'll keep an eye on the chat as much as possible as well. Um, conscious of getting started here so that people can get to school and things like that. So hopefully you guys are feeling nice and warm today. Um, we will uh, do, we'll do a little bit of mobility quickly. So we'll quickly do our, our ankle mobility. As always, I'm just using the foam roller as a guide. You guys can use the wall if you like or a couch or whatever you might have. So I'm back here with my foam roller. Again, I'm getting my toe about 10 centimetres away from the roller here. I'm down in this one position. So everyone come to this position now, either with your couch or your wall or whatever you're using. And again, we're just keeping our heel pressed to the floor as much as we possibly can, bringing our knee to that foam roller. Okay, and we're just sort of holding there for a count and then we're coming back. Knee to the, knee to the roller or the wall or the couch and then we're coming back. So anyone that's joining in late, if there's anyone that's joined in a bit later, just come in, come in and join in as soon as you possibly can. We're just doing some mobility, so I'm swapping legs. I'm just doing some ankle mobility, some Achilles mobility, making sure we're looking after those muscles of our lower extremities. Remember today's session is get up and go, so it's a lot of sort of jump, sprint, landing techniques. So I'll focus on that power. Session. If, you, if you're looking at the screen share, you can see the power, the speed and power session there that we're working on. And we're into week three of that program. So again, if you want to do any of these sessions in your own time, now that we've gone through each of the exercises, you should be starting to get pretty confident with the movement. Feel free to. Okay. Quick, quick hip mobility. Quick hip mobility. How you going, Sam? So Sam, you're up to the squat jump. Yep. Yeah. All right, so quick, uh, quick hip mobility. Again, my Spider-Man, I like the, the Spider-Man hip mobility. So again, we're sort of bending at the hips more than anything. First and foremost, we get a bit of a, a hamstring stretch. We're almost bending down, touching our toes or coming down as far as we can if it's shins or whatever. Then you're going to bend your knees and you're just going to wrap your hand underneath your big toe. So almost like your big toe, like you're stepping on your fingers. Don't hurt yourself, obviously. I'll move back a little bit so you can see me. Okay, so I'm here and I've got my elbows on the inside, inside of my knees. So elbow, and I can press out just gently. You sort of press out and you feel that stretch in your groin a little bit and your hips, that's good. Then I'm going to keep my left arm under. Okay, so that one's going to stay. My right arm's going to rise up and I'm going to twist and look up at that hand and control my breathing. In through the nose, preferably out through the mouth. Tuck that right hand back under your right big toe and release your left hand out. And twist, breathing again. Try and open up that lower back a little bit if you've been sitting down a lot over the weekend. Hopefully you guys have been active. And come back. As you don't, grab our mini band. Grab our mini band here. Making sure everyone's in the meeting. Got one person still waiting there, Cody. Excellent. Okay. All right, mini band. So we've got our crab walk. So again, we're at a week three. We're in a little bit of an overload. Okay, so we're going to try and get through two sets of everything today. 
at least two sets of them. So I want to get through two crab walks, two sets of crab walks. Uh, so we'll do 10 and then we'll have a rest and we'll do another 10. So again, we're down in the stance, bend your knees, okay? You're not really activating your glutes if you're standing up straight like this, okay? Our glutes become activated when our hips bend, okay? So what I mean by that is we're sitting down in that sort of defensive stance, that athletic stance, and we're pushing out here. Here we go. In your own time, okay, I'm gonna do five across the screen, and then I'm gonna come back to my left. I'm gonna do that twice through, so I get 10 going each direction, then I'm gonna have a breather. I'm gonna come watching you guys for that second set. So a lot of the format today is gonna to be, I'm gonna do the first set with you, then I'm gonna come and watch you guys with the second set. I really wanna hone in on that technique. So there's my 10. I'm gonna have a breather. I'm gonna come and see you. How are you going, Sam? What do you got, what do you got next, mate? Do a board uh, jump? Yep, so we're taking off horizontally. So guys, I've got Sam started a bit earlier because he starts school right on 8.30. So Sammy with the broad jump, again, working on that arm swing, swinging back and pushing out and exploding as far as we can. Trying to land and not forward and lose balance forward. We're trying to keep our center of gravity low. So horizontally explode out and hop off the ground as far as we can. We're not quite there yet, Zach. Zach tried to jump ahead here. Okay, guys, so you should be doing your second set of banded uh, crab walks. Good job, Cam. Bend your knees, sit down a little bit lower. With this exercise, guys, you cannot be down too low in a stance, okay? I'd prefer to see you down ridiculously low as opposed to standing up straight. Good job, Bonnie. Good job, Matt. So sit down nice and low. Again, the lower you are, the better. Don't be silly, but obviously, um, if we're standing up straight, we're not getting the activation we really want here. Good stuff. Good job, all right, if you've done that, second set. Excellent, we're gonna move into our acceleration, deceleration, okay? So again, we're on to week three. I wanna do, we're gonna do 10 reps today, and we're gonna try and get through 10 reps. Uh, sorry, two sets, two sets of 10. So with our decel acceleration, Again, I'm gonna start on this side of the room today. We're gonna to hone in on the technique a little bit. I'm gonna do the first set with you. So make sure you're pushing off different legs. So right here, this is my right leg, okay? Even though it's mirrored in the camera, this is my right leg. So I've got my right foot back and I've got my, my heel up off the ground. So I'm pushing off the ball of my foot all right? and I've got my right arm forward, okay? So again, we talk about that arm swing being really important, that movement right there, okay? That movement right there. You watch sprinters, when they're in the block and they start, okay, so much of their power is derived from throwing that arm forward, all right? It's really fine detail. We don't have to be perfect at it as basketballers, but hey, while we're in this position that we're in right now, why not work on the technique? So my right foot is back, my right arm is forward, my left leg's forward, okay? So my right foot is back. So as I take off into this sprint, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna push off my right leg and I'm gonna throw my left arm forward and then I'm coming quickly into that deceleration, okay? So I want you to do um, five on each leg, so 10 total. Up to you if you want to alternate. If you want to alternate from right leg then to left leg so we don't get fatigued on one leg, that's completely up to you, okay? If you need to watch, I'm going to do all 10 this set, and then I'm going to watch you guys for the second set. So again, right arm forward. If the right, arm, if the right leg is back, the right arm forward, and we throw forward. Back pedal, back pedal, back pedal, and we go again. So really pushing off, exploding out of the blocks there. So this is such a, an important skill in basketball. You don't have to be the, it's great to be fast, but it's better to be quick. You can be quick over two or three meters. I mean, I'd, say I'd love to be quick over two or three meters and over 20. I'm quick over neither. Thankfully, you guys are. But really good to be quick over short distances and able to stop. Okay? So the ability to stop and also take off quickly, a massive in basketball. Have a breather between your, your first and second set. Ah. 
Awesome. I'm watching your second set. So if you've had a breather, as you go, Sam, broad jump. You're up to the skater jump. Okay. Can't see a few of you. Don't worry too much, but try and adjust your camera so that at least I can see the takeoff. Let's focus on the takeoff today. Good, Cody. Good arm movement. Awesome. Awesome, Bonnie. Drive that opposite arm through. Good. Good, good. You don't need a lot of space for this one. So if your right leg's back, K, your right arm forward. Good job, Jack A. Good job, Jesse. Cody, Riley, awesome. Good job, Evie. Good takeoff. So one of my coaches a long time ago said, be a spear, not a shield. And I, that stuck with me. So be a spear. So when I say be a spear, when you're taking off, it's the same as when you take off on the dribble. Be a spear, okay? So have your head pointing where you want to go, okay? We want to be low, low to the ground, go by people's hips, not going past their shoulders, all right? You're a lot easier to guard if you're upright like this. If you're sprinting and your takeoff is here, okay, see how upright I am, as opposed to my sprint takeoff being here, and being here, and staying low here. Because I just engage my hips and the muscles in my hips, those big, powerful muscles. Keep working, guys. Sam, you've got your skater, skater hops. I hope you're... I've let you go there a little bit. Sorry, mate. I hope you're doing that. <laughs> I can't see you. Yeah. So skaters, Sammy. Skaters side to side here. Boom. And you can push off and do them continuously. Boom. Boom. You've got... Uh... Yeah, you've got three sets of 10. Yep. If you want to stick, that's fine. That's great. Okay, guys. So that's our acceleration, deceleration done. We should have done 10 total, um, two times through. Now we've got our, our drop landing. Okay. Um, so for this one, unless you guys have something to jump off, preferably not too high. I preferably out. So unless you're outdoors and you've got a step to jump off, the best way to do this drop landing is again, we're almost like we're, we're at the peak of our jump, okay? So our arms are straight up in the air. We're up on our toes or the ball of our feet as high as we can come up to on our tippy toes. And then we're just simulating. So that's the top of our jump there. And we're simulating that landing. So we go from tippy toes and we, we sort of go as quickly as we possibly can into that landing position, all right? So we're up high, arms reach to the sky. And then we drop down, swing our arms back into our hips a little bit all right we sit back low into that that chair position all right so you, you will be off the ground for just a second but you're not actually jumping like you're not jumping from here you're just going from here and dropping as quickly as you can into that squat all right things to be conscious of is making sure we're not landing hard on our heels okay we don't want that heel strike first we want that transition so we don't want to be like boom Okay, hopefully you can hear that through the microphone, that big boom, that thud sound. We don't want that. We want to be nice and soft. Nice and soft, landing evenly. Weight spread evenly, rocking back into our heels as we sit into that squat. All right, so for that one, we're going to do two sets of four. Two sets of four. Sit down a little lower there, standing into that knee. That right knee is looking like it's, it's too stiff. That's better. Think like a single leg squat. That's it. Good. If you've got a step or something that you can that you can step off, that's great. Up on your tippy toes, Denver. Good, mate. Bend your knees a little bit more into that. Good job. So if you step off, Jack, don't jump off. Just step off. That's it. Land two feet at the same time. Yes. There's brothers down in that position. Swing your arms back and through. Good job, Cody. Good. Step off. Land lightly. Good job, Bonnie. Swing those arms through. That's stimulating that landing. That's perfect. How are you guys going? Good, Cody. Yeah. So you're not. Yeah, you're not quite stepping off into a box jump, Cody. You're just going to walk off the step and straight into that two foot landing. Good job, Jesse. Oh, yeah. Cody's added another jump to it. Going the extra mile. Good job. Good, Evie. Good, Amelia. Good job, Sarah. Good, okay. 
Good Tom or where's Tom gone? There he is. <laughs> okay, guys, good work. Excellent. All right, so hopefully you've done your two sets of that, that landing. Okay, Sam, you're into your skipping, mate. So you've got 60 seconds. You use your phone. If you've got 60 seconds, just go in two foot for one. So we've got, oh, they want us to do six sets this week. Wow, that's a huge overload. I'd go for three sets, mate. You should have plenty of time to do three or four sets of skipping. Okay, so 60 seconds. If you've got the rope, go with the rope. If you don't have the rope, just go line hop. Okay, side to side, forward and back, you mix it up. Okay, the rest of us, we are on to our squat jump. So we're going to do two sets of four. So again, our squat jumps now, we're just building up from that landing. So now our squat jumps are continuing. So we go from here. All right, we start. I'd always sort of start with my arms out straight. I'm going to swing my arms through and then take off and try and touch the roof. Continuously swing my arms through and back, sitting down. Two sets of four, okay? So if you've got a roof, if you've got something to aim for to try and touch, that's always a bonus, okay? Gives you something to reach for, gives you a goal. Because let's be honest, in basketball, more often than not when we're jumping, we're jumping for something, okay? So that stimulus is really good. Good, Ava. Good job, guys. So two sets of four, focusing on that landing still. That arm swing's really good. Nice and balanced. Good job, Denver. Excellent, good job. Good, Matt. Matty Shackloff, good job. Good job, Bonnie. Keep working, guys. That's awesome. Good job, Evie. And you think Matt's just has disappeared? Good job, guys. Good job, Tom. Good, Cody. Good, Cody. The other thing to be conscious of, too, guys, is your rest between sets here. Watching me is your knees. Okay? Sounds silly. Um, it's, it's, it's not something you can necessarily be too conscious of, but it's something we, why we do the banded work, it's why we do the squats and the lunges to strengthen the muscles of our knees, but also the muscles of our hips, okay? What we don't want to have is when we're landing, we don't want our knees to touch like that, okay? A lot of the time I'm seeing guys, uh, a lot of you guys do the, do the movement and you're coming down and your knees are coming in like that, okay? Now, sometimes that's natural and you're not going to be able to help that. That's just part of your anatomy. But we need to try and be conscious of when we land, thinking our knees are going in line with our toes, okay, like train tracks. All right. Sometimes you're not going to be able to help it, but when you can, and when we're training in this scenario, try and be conscious of landing, knees going in exactly the same line as your arms and your toes. Everything's aligned. Okay, second set, if you haven't already done it or if you haven't already started it, second set of our squat jump. Here we go. Girl Cody. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Girl Cody. I like it. <laughs> good job. Good job. Excellent. Grab a drink if you've done your two sets. You've done your two sets. Excellent. We're into our broad jumps now. Into our broad jumps. So this is our horizontal. Again, this is a, this is a really fun one because this is an opportunity for us to just, to just jump, to just take off. Much like the squat jump, you guys can just take off and try and get as high as you can. There's nothing better than that sort of stuff. If you've got a if you've got a hoop, you've got a hoop, and you can lower it down to eight feet or lower. Use that. Use the hoop. Jump and try and touch the net. Jump and try and touch the backboard. Try and touch the ring. Girls, boys, everyone. I don't care. Everyone, everyone, get up and touch that ring. You girls are going to be dunking by the time you're an under 18. I'm confident. All right. So broad jump. This is our horizontal takeoff. So again, the action is very similar. Both it's, it's, it's a two-legged jump. We're swinging our arms through and back, but instead we're now trying to take off the distance across the room. Again, so be careful if you're on a wood floor, something's a little bit slippery. I hope you've got shoes on. Uh, maybe try and use a yoga mat or something like that. Make sure, and again, same focus is we want to land balanced with our center of gravity over our legs. And that's the beauty of this movement is because we go straight from horizontal to having to then land and stay pretty, pretty sort of vertical in the one spot. So it's really good for our muscles to do this. So again, broad jump, we're swinging through, and we're taking off horizontally, okay? So again, we're kicking our legs out, we're trying to jump as far as we can across the room. How are you going, Sam? Got your skip yeah, table done. Um, yeah. Good man. Make sure, mate, do a warm down, get your phone rolling, get what you need to do, have some breakfast and get to school, mate. Well, thank you. Thanks, Jared.
Good Sammy. See you, mate. No worries. Yeah. Okay, broad jump. So again, we got we're gonna do two sets of four, two sets of four of these. So once you've done four, have a breather. Make sure you're resting. So with this power and speed stuff, if I say two sets of four, that doesn't mean eight. Okay, it's not it's not just like math class. I'm not just doing eight and then sitting there in front of the camera and waiting for me to give the next instruction. We do four and we rest. Okay, we rest for 30 seconds minimum, absolute minimum, because power is a neural quality. We need to give our, our brain and our body time to rest in between because we're, we're training that explosiveness. We're not trying to train a cardiovascular system here. So once you've done your four, have a breather. Again, with your landing, making sure we're swinging our arms through and we're shifting that weight back because your body's going to want to jump forward. If you're falling forward like that, you need to sit down lower and swing your arms back. Okay, so we should be onto our second set. A lot of you guys, I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Good job, awesome landing. Good girl, Cody. <laughs> Excellent, mate, good job. Well done, Bonnie. Awesome. Riley having a breather. Good job, Evie, excellent. Job, Kay, first mate. Careful, Tom, you've got the hardwood floors, you've got the bare feet, so you're okay. Excellent, good job, Dave. Watch out for the bulldogs. Good job, awesome. Okay. Kobe. Owen and Owen, good job guys, excellent, awesome. Okay, so two sets of four for our broad jump. Really great movement that's gonna help us with sprint technique. If you think about it when we're doing our acceleration, deceleration, not to waste too much of your time, but if you think about it when we push off like this, if you imagine here my right leg, okay, and I'm pushing off like that, it's very similar to this movement we're doing here, but just two legs at once, okay? So it's very similar, it allows me to just explode and take off. Now you apply that back to a sprint takeoff and you can kind of see how the angles are all the same. So here, I'm in the same position. When I go to swing through, look at that same angle of my chin. Okay, so it's very similar to a sprint takeoff. Okay, skater jump. All right, three sets. I want to do two sets of 10. Okay, two sets of 10, continuous if you like. If you like, if you haven't done it before, I want you to stick the landing. Okay, because this is a really good exercise to stick the landing. Okay, but if you're confident, two sets of 10 total, so five on each leg. So we're here, one, two, three, four, do 10 and then rest. Good job. Get down low though, okay? This is not, this is not a dance, okay? I don't want to say this, Zach, you look like you're dancing a little bit. We're not here, okay? This is not, that's not a skater jump. Uh, that's just a weird sort of a, a jog. Okay, a skater jump is, we're still pushing off laterally. Pushing off, pushing off, pushing off, and getting that leg to swing behind. Push off, push off, side to side. Still cover as much distance as you can. Challenge yourself. How are you going there, Chase? Good man. I like it, PG-13. Good, Denver, I like the stick, mate. That's perfect. You see how you get that wobble. Now you keep working on it. Good job, Estes, brothers. Well done. Good job, Tate. Make sure Scout behind you is working hard, mate. Good job. Cody, girl Cody, well done. Good, Bonnie. Good, Evie. Good job, Kate. Good, good. Try and explode off the ground. If we're doing those continuous, have a break in between, but just watching me while we're having breaks. If we're doing those continuous, it's, it's rate of force development. So we want to pop off the ground. Okay, so really explode off the ground. So you don't want to you want to push off as quickly as you can, okay? So like it's a hot lava, really push off quickly. So it's your ability to absorb that impact and just explode off the ground quickly. If you're landing and you're sticking the landing, if you're still working on that component of the movement, then just stick and hold, okay? Walk back, push off, stick and hold. Focus on the spot on the ground to get your balance. Okay, let's go. Second set of 10. If you haven't already started, second set of 10. Let's go. Five on each leg. Good job. Good, good. Good, Matt. Yep, good, mate. That's it. Push out. That's it. 
Good, mate. Good. Push off. Make sure you sit down into that knee a little bit. So again, as we push off there, don't land with a stiff knee. What I mean by that is, is your knee's almost like locked out. That's going to be no good for us. We want to land in that almost like a quarter squat. Okay, so if you see my right leg here, the one that's on the ground, see how it's nice and bent? A few of you are landing a bit like that. All right, that's going to put extra stress on our joints we don't want. Grab a quick drink and then we're into our skipping to finish off. Quick drink, skipping to finish off. And we're going to do a bit of skipping, okay, because they want us to do six sets. So I want to try and do four sets. Four sets of 60 seconds. So if you are inside, you don't have a skipping rope. I don't have a skipping rope. There's plenty of ways we can still do this. If you have a skipping rope and you want to go outside, great. If not, watch what I'm doing. Use variations. We get creative. Okay, I've got a yoga strap here that I use as my line on the court. And I do line hop. Okay, so if we're doing four sets, the first one's probably going to just be lateral over and back, lateral for 60 seconds. Everyone get to your positions, and we're going to start. Everyone get to your positions. 60 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Here we go, lateral line hop for me. If you guys are skipping, that's fine. Again, with the line hop, it's as quick as you can. <laughs> So again, trying to really pop off the ground. 60 seconds, a long time, so keep working. We get a little bit of cardio at the end of the session here. Good job, keep working. That's 30. Keep going. Just little jumps, you don't have to do big high jumps. These are just little skip jumps. Good job. 10 seconds. Good job, guys. Keep working. Five, four, three, oop, two, and one. Good job. Have a breather. Oh. Straighten my line up again. Good job, guys. Three to go. So I went side to side. Now I'm going to go forward and back. Forward and back. Get a quick breather. How are you guys going? Anyone got a skipping rope? No. That's okay. Okay, forward and back now. Forward and back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mixing it up. Staying on the ball of our feet. Excellent. Good job, guys. Staying on our toes, falls of our feet. No heel strike. If you need a breather, take a breather. Keep it sharp. Make sure you're staying focused. Good job. Keep working. Clear that line. If you're working against the line, you're jumping your rope or you're jumping a line in the carpet or the concrete. Keep going. 10 seconds. Ooh, not for tea. Three, two, one. Good job. Here we go. Ooh. All right, for this last one, let's go one more set. So let's go single leg. So single leg to 30 and swap legs. So we're hopping on our right leg. If you're skipping, you're skipping on one leg, swap to your left. I'll let you guys know when it's 30 seconds. Oh, here we go. So start on your right leg, just hopping on the spot, trying to get a little bit of air. Okay, three, two, one. Here we go, right leg for 30. Again, we got a little bit of burn in our calves here. Strengthening them a little bit. Building back, building up that aerobic capacity and that muscular endurance in our calves. 
Good job, guys. Keep working. Halfway now for the right leg. <laughs> Keep going. Five seconds on the right. Ooh, three, two, one. Left leg. So swap to your left now. If you're doing single leg. If you're doing both, just keep going. So again, just if you're inside, imagine you've got that skipping rope. Right. You just need enough space. You're not hopping up as high as you can. We're just getting little hops in. Here we go, 10 seconds. Keep working. Three, two, one. Oh, great job, guys. Get a quick drink and we'll start our warm down. Oh, if you've got to get going to school, if you've got class starting at 8.30, feel free to take off. Got my timer here. Okay, warm down again. If you've got a roller, great. If not, don't worry about it. We can just go straight into the stretching. So foam roller, I like to get into the glutes a little bit. So my right glute, I'm sitting that right on top of the roller and I'm getting my right ankle behind my left knee that's on the ground. If you don't have the roller, that's okay. Go straight into that same stretch. So if you don't have the roller, just get your right ankle behind your right knee and come into that raised position off the ground. Rock back and forth, or you can come into your pretzel, pretzel stretch. So see that little gap there? So my hands through right now, wrap that around my knee, my left knee, and I'm just rocking, stretching out that glute a little bit. If you are foam rolling, five on the glute, five on the right, swap it over, five on the left. So bring that left leg up onto your right knee. Good work this morning, guys. Great to see so many numbers this morning. Great to see so many people here this morning. We've got to stay positive, stay together. Really important, stay healthy. Stay engaged, keep talking to your teammates, keep talking to your coaches. We'll get through this and we'll be back in the stadium before you know it, ready to go. And we're going to be more prepared than anyone. If you've got the roller, go onto the side of your leg there and go like a, down the side here, your ITB. Okay, so from the side of your hip there, right on the side of your hip all the way up that leg, down to the side of your knee. Make sure you do the other side. If you don't have the roller, we, we can stretch that one out where you just go, so if I'm stretching my right side, I wanna go right leg over my left foot, okay? And I'm actually bringing it across my body there. And then I'm coming down almost just like a little, it's like I'm stretching my hamstring, but because I've got my legs crossed over there, stretches out down the side of my thigh a little bit. And then last one for your foam roller or your stretch or both is our calves. These will probably need it this morning with all that jumping around and skipping. So we're rolling gently back and forth. You can stack your feet on top of each other for a little bit more resistance, or you can go both legs at the same time. You guys are the judge. Listen to your body, don't overdo it. Back and forth on your calves. And our stretch for our calves again using a wall or whatever you've got at your disposal is just some little calf pumps. So again, we get a nice angle to the wall and we're just pumping our feet, pumping our heels to the ground basically. Coming up onto the ball of one foot and alternating. So again, nothing too static. Okay, we're not holding any one position for 30 seconds. We're just getting the blood moving around slowing down our heart rate to finish off the session so that you guys can go on to your day now. Make sure you're getting plenty of water. Make sure you have a really good breakfast. Make sure you're fueling up properly. Um, and uh, have a great day at school. Those that are doing, uh, well, everyone's remote learning, I guess. So again, like I said, make sure we stay engaged here. We've got sessions. Uh, we've got another session Wednesday, hoop sit on Wednesday. But there's some stuff over the next couple of nights for you guys if you like. Tomorrow night, uh, our class is in session with Karen Mitchell, our junior girls coordinator. So for you guys, especially you girls in the program, that'll be really valuable to hear her talk about what, uh, you know, what we're doing for parents' tryouts and our offenses and stuff like that as a club. So that'll be really good for you and your parents and any coaches. Uh, 
And then we've got our hoop fit with me again on Thursday. Friday this week, we've got Tom Garrett running skill session. So again, you've got the calendar if you need it. Refer to the calendar, come back to it. There's something every day for you guys to do. Study hard, uh, stay locked in, and, and uh, I'll see you guys all again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Jared. Thank you, Jared. Have a good day, guys. See Bye. Bye. See you later. See you, Cody. Good job, mate. Cody Miller.